And now, Gilgamesh. Prologue. He had seen everything, had experienced all emotions, from exaltation to despair, had been granted a vision into the great mystery, the secret place, the primeval days before the flood. He had journeyed to the edge of the world and made his way back, exhausted but whole. He had carved his trials on stone tablets, had restored the holy Ayana temple and the massive wall of Uruk, which no city on earth can equal. See how its ramparts gleam like copper in the sun. Climb the stone staircase, more ancient than the mind can imagine. Approach the Ayana Temple, sacred to Ishtar, a temple that no king has equaled in size or beauty. Walk on the wall of Uruk, follow its course around the city, inspect its mighty foundation. Examine its brickwork, how massively it is built. Observe the land it encloses, the palm trees, the garden, the orchard, the glorious palace and temple, the shops and marketplaces, the houses, the public squares. Find the cornerstone and under the copper box that is marked with his name. Unlock it. Open the lid. Take out the tablet of Lacus Lazarus. Read how Gilgamesh suffered all and accomplished.